Hi, I'm Meg, and I'm going to show you how to create tag clouds in the great website called TagZito. Navigate over to TagZito.com and you can start making your own tag clouds. This is what it looks like when it gets here, and I'm going to warn you up front that TagZito doesn't work perfectly every single time. There's just some days that it doesn't work. I've jumped over to couple different browsers today and if you look over to the right one of the things you can do is put in your Twitter ID and I'm not sure if it's a Twitter connection problem or a tag Zito issue but I couldn't get that to come up today so it doesn't always work perfectly but it is a great website you need to know about it there's a gallery so you be careful anybody can put anything in the gallery at any time so you do want to kind of uh, have your students not go there you can go there to get some ideas but let's not direct students to the gallery that's pretty much the same on every web 2.0 site and of course the wonderful people at Tagzito would love you to shop 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 at, in their store so you make your beautiful graphic and they, they love it on t-shirts and mugs and everything else so had to put a plug in there. They give it to the, everything else for free. So um, we'll, we'll add that in there for them. What's great about this versus my other favorite, which is Wordle, is you get to pick your shape for in a tag Zito, which is great. And you can do all different things, shape, color, themes, all different things. But it's really the shape that makes this stand out um, to be different than other tag cloud sites. Here is um, my bio. Put in a put it right into uh, Wordle. Oh, sorry, tag Zito. <laughs> I've said uh, a little Wordle in the brain there. Um, and you can see like the word Meg in my bio is larger. That's why that is bigger than some of the other words that are in there. So a, a tag cloud makes words that are repeated more often larger. What you can do is, this is not as intuitive as I'd love, but if you look in the upper right hand, hand corner, right underneath tag Zito, the word load is there. And here is the load menu. You can just go ahead and paste in a website. And I'll, I do that sometimes for current events. That really is a great way to show the current event. And again, the words that are repeated more often are going to become larger. And so you can see in the text that I put in there, I actually add in Meg four different times to make it appear larger so I could show you that. If not, I think it only appeared one or two times. So you can see I added that into the text and you could do the same thing. There's all different, this is just part of the shape menu. There's all different shape menus and you can also upload your own image. And it does really well with real clear images, not as well with people's faces, but if you play with it a little bit or maybe do a little Photoshop work beforehand, you could go ahead and actually bring in a, a somebody's face and you could actually create the uh, tag Zito over it, which is really interesting. All different, lots and lots of different options and I haven't even played with all of this. I learned actually a lot as I did this screencast. I've really just been using kind of the bare bones of Tagzito for the years that I've been using it. So there's, uh, you know, everything from do you want a black and white friendly to uh, word counts and all different things. I didn't realize until today that I also have, they also keep everything in my history. So then I could go back and forth between um, my different ones, like the star, the ones that are stars. The top, the top row, all I did was search from the opening screen. I searched United States, and that's what came up, including California being very large there. There are many different things that you can pick up, pick from over in the, on the side, including themes and colors. So you could really get it to align to maybe your school colors, or um, in the case of the United States, I could have done red, white, and blue, which would have been really cool. Uh, didn't know until today how many options I had for fonts. I had always just used their regular, whatever their generic one is. So there's lots there. And um, they, I really played with some of them. There's some really nice ones there. And, of course, they love you to tell all your friends. And, again, there's the shop thing there. Um, one thing that's hard to capture without going live to Tagzito is when you mouse over the words they pop up, as you can see, professional, like popping up. This would be so great with students on an interactive whiteboard. They could come up and touch the words they didn't know, the words they did know. You could do it in teams. But I thought that was really a nice um, little addition there. And look, you can go full screen. Look how beautiful that graphic is. I would like to play a little bit more with the fonts and the colors, but this is wow. And that is Tagzito. Oh, again, shop. <laughs>
Hope you enjoyed it. Again, uh, this is Meg, and tune in for some other ones. Have a great day.